search adaptive card extension. What we will tell you, uh, this is what we will talk about. First, a few words about myself. I'm Marcin. You can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter. Here is a link to my GitHub if you find this interesting. Maybe other stuff you, I do, you will also find interesting. Introductions aside, let's talk about why, why anyone would like to play around with searching A's. And I strongly believe that, first of all, adaptive cards got quite a lot of traction last year. It's a big investment from Microsoft. The whole Viva story is, is shaping really nicely to a very uh, complex and com comprehensive solution. Uh, and of course, it's significantly faster than, uh, let's say, Webpack, who would do, which would do the same thing. So another good thing uh, or good point in, in using adaptive cards is that we can actually expose our search results almost natively in mobile. That is almost because we know there is actually a big bridge and uh, few small technical details, but to end user, it's effectively native mobile experience when you can use ACE and you can actually call search. Uh, support for the new and lovely feature, maybe not so new. For, for me, it's still new and lovely. Uh, so new Viva Home experience on, on desktop. And finally, this is a relatively simple and relatively easy solution. So even if you not want to copy uh, the sample and use it somewhere, it's really easy to actually implement something like this yourself, which I hope I will justify in a second. So, how to do this? We need search API client. Uh, and the key is that this client needs something like set query. This is a little bit more implementation related, nevertheless, that's the key. We need set query. To give you uh, already some heads up, uh, because you can use both SharePoint search API and you can use Graph search API, I tend to use Graph search API only because uh, Graph Search API, I believe, has much nicer response model. So you don't have to go through that key value list to actually extract your objects from the search results. This is why I go with uh, Graph API search. But to be perfectly honest, SharePoint API will be a little bit faster, uh, but on the other hand, we'll have a bigger response. So whatever you feel like, both are absolutely fine. Once we have that, we need to actually create adaptive card extension. I didn't pay much attention, to be honest, to the card itself. Uh, I will focus on the quick view. And in that quick view, we need to define our search input and our search button. Finally, thanks to Jean, uh, I was able to implement or actually copy it from his solution. A very lovely uh, quick view to actually render the documents that are the results. And finally, it would be nice to have some kind of navigation events. And by navigation events, I mean, if you don't like the query you entered, you go back, you can uh, enter different query without closing the, uh, without closing the, the uh, quick view itself. So that's it. And finally, you have to enjoy yourself in implementing something like that. And I see I've been talking for over three minutes right now, only with presentation. So this is the, the time we hit the demo. Lovely. So let's take a look at what we have here. And here we do have new, beautiful Viva Home experience. And as you can see, I have two search adaptive cards here. One is just a generic search and the other is new search. If I want a quick view, I want to find some test documents. Lovely. Let's search. We have some test documents. I click test and I'm opening that natively in Teams. What a lovely, lovely thing. Let's go back. Let's say I want to actually look for some news. Again, this is my test environment, so documents and the news are usually test, uh, named test. As you can see, we click it and we get navigated to use. So as uh, you can see, one adaptive card, but quite versatile, quite a lot of, quite a, a lot of configuration we can do. Let's take a look on how we can do it. 
This adaptive cut has just some very simple thing called initial query. Initial query is something that will be applied or appended actually to user query. Here we have just, we are looking for documents, but not ASPX files. And in that case, we are looking for a specific content type. That's all, nothing too crazy. I believe as a final step, uh, because I believe no demo of mine will be fully completed without some proper hacking and something a little bit unsupported. Uh, let's say we would like to debug stuff directly in the uh, new experience. If we want to do that, we hit F12 as usual. Let's inspect our lovely home experience. And bear in mind, at the end of the day, this is actually new, beautiful new page in uh, SharePoint uh, Hive. And I have my utils snippet right here. It is available on my GitHub, I believe, run. And here we have lovely method called debug page. Debug page, and here we go. Now we are actually serving our uh, adaptive cards from, uh, from localhost. Lovely, we like it. Uh, now let's dive a little bit deeper into the implementation details. And I believe I have it here and already properly uh, zoomed in. I hope the zoom is correct. Yes, yes, yes. So adaptive card entry point. So search adaptive card extension .ts. Of course, this sample is also available in the adaptive card PNP samples. So you can walk through this. Uh, on your own. What is happening here is, first of all, we are building Grab Client. And I mentioned we need some kind of search provider. Here I'm using search provider from my NPM library. I'm not sure if we want to go too much into the details, just maybe to show you roughly how it looks like. We have that set query method, and effectively it abstracts away all the building of search request, pagination, and I believe that's it, nothing too special. Once we have that data provider, we have to register our quick views. As you can see, the card view is just out of the box card view, but we have quick view, which is the out of the box, uh, box quick view, and search results quick view. The important thing here is that we are registering it via this navigator. But again, nothing, uh, nothing too, too fancy. The trick is let's go to the quick view. It's very simple. What we are doing is on action. So when we click our search, or maybe I should actually search, show how the search works. I don't really did that input. So we have input, we have submit button. When we click that submit button, we are setting the query to our data provider. You can see here it's this data provider. And this is something I also highly recommend to play around with because every quick view or to be honest, everything you derive, inherit from a base adaptive card, you can play around with dependency injection here just to clear, clear up stuff a little bit more play around with separation of concerns. So we have our data provider here. We set the query, we call get data. And then when the data is obtained, we set our state of adaptive card extension and we use quick view navigator to push new view. And that new view is I believe somewhere here. Search results quick, uh, quick view. When we are just pass to our uh, adaptive card, the results which are currently added to state object. Now, if you're interested in templates, we view template, very simple stuff. As I mentioned, we have one input, we have one action, nothing too fancy. When it comes to the search results, it is a little bit more complex. As I said, I wouldn't do it myself. So once again, Joe, thank you very much. We have some columns, images, title, I believe, last modified location and last modified date. Uh, and here the only action is select action, open URL. 
And that is effectively it. Open URL. Lovely. And I believe that will be it. There is only some few words to finish up because few important details I might uh, have missed. Quick view, uh, quick view navigator object, very nice, uh, highly useful. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm using my own language for the search client. But if you feel more comfortable with PNPJS, if you want to just call search directly using a speech type client or graph uh, uh, graph client, whatever uh, works best for you. Uh, and as I mentioned, that initial query property can significantly change the uh, context of our search because uh, my limitation was effectively, or my imagination was a little bit limited by my own experience. My experiences I either won't use or documents, but you can imagine even by getting to our search, SharePoint search. Do I remember that correctly? Yes. We can look for files, sites, people, news, images, whatever you like. You can actually have a nice search with relatively nice and adaptive candy uh, result set. Okay, lovely. So I believe that would be all from my side. As always, pleasure being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was great. And I like how you're saying, you know, it was very simple when, uh, you know, it doesn't look that simple, but uh, thank you for making it uh, simple for us. All right. I, I, I want to, to admit, <laughs> I was told I might be a little bit dismissive when it comes to complexity. So this is why if anything was not clear, don't hesitate to ask. I love talking about the code. Uh, no, it was it was fantastic. Okay. Thank you.